Ann Daphner is one of three Buffalo State Cooperstown graduates, making a big impact at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. As conservator of photographs, she's directly responsible for the preservation of 50,000 photos in the museum's collection. You can't rise to the top without a good foundation. Buffalo State University had a tremendous impact on my career, uh, not only by um, nurturing an interest in photographic conservation, but just by the faculty and the expertise and the facilities that are completely there for the students. I cannot imagine being where I am today not having gone to Buffalo State. Leanne recommends photography conservation students keep in mind all of digital's developments. Students who are interested in photographic conservation should have some basis of knowledge in photographic processes that which are now historic or otherwise referred to as analog. With photography, I would advise students to study the history of photography, try to take courses in historic processes, salted paper prints, or tintypes, or daguerreotypes, or um, cyanotypes, anything that you can to get some kind of basic understanding of darkroom experience. Because even though you may not be recreating those processes in your work, you really want to understand how they're made. And because it really is sort of a dying sector in our society and in industry and in our world, there will always be photographs that we have to take care of. It must be the way to skip. And new technologies create new forms of expression. Whether those are computer-generated images, works produced on film and video, or in live performance. Contemporary art demands a distinctive kind of conservation. That's where Cooperstown graduate Glenn Wharton comes into the picture. As the Museum of Modern Art's time-based media conservator, he's one of the foremost authorities in the field. Programs right now aren't really addressing fully the needs of conservation of contemporary art. Artists are always out there using new technologies, adapting material and technology from the real world. We know that a lot of these materials, a lot of these technologies won't last, so we have to have a very different mindset when we think about its future. The installation will come down and then will be reinstalled, maybe with all new materials and technology. We have to loosen up a little bit and understand that we don't have an end product that we're taking care of and uh, shepherding through time. We're actually part of a collaboration to shape what the work of art is. And that's very dangerous territory for a conservator because we need to apply our, our principles of a historic integrity without the history. I look forward to the graduate programs in the U.S. teaching more of the technology, uh, but also the approach to conserving the art of our times when the artists are alive painting conservator Cynthia Albertson believes her training at Buffalo State was a great entry into the modern art world. She did a number of contemporary treatments at the Albright Knox Art Gallery. I was able to work on an Ann Truitt sculpture, a painted sculpture. I was able to work on an Anselm Kiefer, um, an enormous painting, 14 by 20, um, and a couple of other modern pieces as well. <laughs> it takes practice. And there was also the mentoring of her painting professor, James Hamm. People see him as sort of very zen, and very focused, and very calm. And I think that I try to absorb a little bit of that personality because in New York and in modern art, the pace can be very fast and very crazy. I actually always think about once a week, what would James do right now and just try to slow the pace down and just think about the object from, you know, the stretcher up and, and just enjoy the whole experience. <laughs> 